to my channel. Before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Cam Diane Crochet. So let's go ahead and begin. I'm going to start off with this yarn here. Um, it's a really thick yarn and a six millimeter hook. Now you're going to chain a multiple of 25 plus five so i'm going to do 50 chains and then i'm going to add five for that for a total of 55 chains if you do not know how to chain or double crochet you can check out one of my tutorials for absolute beginners that shows you how to do all of your stitches and i'll be back okay so i have my 55 chains here now let's begin. You're going to start off by skipping that first stitch and in your next stitch you're going to make a double crochet. In the next two stitches rather you're going to make a double crochet. So my beginners you yarn over, go into your stitch and pull up a loop. That gives you three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two only. Oops. Pull through two only, and then yarn over again and pull through another two. So now go ahead and make another double crochet into the next stitch. Now we're going to skip the next stitch, only one stitch. When you skip that stitch, you're going to make 11 double crochets going across. And I'm going to make these 11 double crochets, but I'm going to speed up and play a little bit of music. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. Now in your next stitch, you're going to make three double crochets. And this is the peak of your chevron stitch. So once you've made your three double crochets, go back again, again, and make 11 double crochets across. And again, I'm going to pick up some speed and play some music. I'll be back. <music> Okay, so I have one more double crochet of that 11 to go. Now we're going to skip the next two stitches and go right into the next stitch with 11 more double crochets. So you're going to crochet 11 more across. And what we just did by skipping those two is we made our valley. So that's the dip of the chevron stitch. So again, I'm going to speed up here and I'll meet you at the next step. Okay, so now that we have our 11 double crochets, we're going to go back into that peak. So in your next stitch, you're going to make three double crochets. This pattern is a one row repeat. So once you've done your three double crochets, go right back into those stitches again with another 11 double crochets going across. This stitch is really great for a blanket, but if you've been a subscriber of mine, you know that I will say 
use it for whatever you want to. I will be using it for a little girl's cardigan. I have some pretty pastel colors. So I'm going to make a cute summer cardigan for a little girl. So that's what I'm going to be using this pattern for. So we're getting closer to that last uh, 11th double crochet here. Okay, so now you have three stitches left. You're going to do the same thing that you did on the other side when we made those two double crochets and then we skipped one. We'll do the same thing here. So you're going to skip the next stitch after you make those 11 double crochets. And in those last two stitches, you will make one double crochet in each of those last two chains here. And that's how you make your chevron stitch. So now you're just going to repeat and continue on from there. You see it's already have it already has a little bit of depth to it, the up and down, the valleys and the peaks. So you're just going to repeat what you did in the first row. When you get to the second, you skip two stitches and make go ahead and continue on. I'll make another 11 double crochets and then make three double crochets in one. That's your peak. So now let's go ahead to row two. And I just want to show you what that looks like. Chain two and turn your work. My longtime subscribers know that I only chain two for a double crochet. So just like in the previous row, you're going to make one double crochet into the first two stitches. And then skip one. And go into the next 11 double crochets with one double crochet in the next 11 stitches across. And so as I said before, it is a one row repeat. So if you're doing your stitches correctly, once you get to that peak, which is those three double crochets, after you make your 11 double crochets, you should automatically be in that second double crochet of that cluster. So those three double crochets. So I'm making my final double crochets here of that 11. And I'm right back at that peak, right in that middle stitch, that middle double crochet from the previous row of those three that you made in that one stitch. So go right into that stitch and make three double crochets. If you're off to the side, if you're not in that middle stitch, then you will have to go back and count again. So once you make those three double crochets, do not skip any stitches. Just go right into your next set with 11 double crochets across and again if you're doing it correctly you should be coming up on that valley portion the portion where you skipped two stitches skipped two chains and went and made your double crochet so i'm almost at that section So now we're there, go ahead and skip those two double crochets and go right into that next double crochet with a double crochet. And you're just going to do another 11 double crochets going across. And again, just keep repeating your pattern. Once you've done those 11 double crochets, you should be right at that peak, right at that second double crochet from the cluster of the previous row. And then you just make three double crochets into that second one. So I'm almost there. I'm making my 11 double crochets and making my way to that peak. Okay, so I have one more to go before we get to that peak. And now in the next one, I'm going to make three double crochets. And once you've made those three double crochets into that one stitch, go right back into your 11 double crochets. And just keep repeating that across.
for whatever reason I keep getting caught up, but I'm almost there. And remember, the bigger your hook, the bigger your stitches will be. So you can use a smaller hook. You do not have to use a six millimeter hook. This is just to show you how to make the stitch itself. And I like to use a bigger hook and a thicker yarn so that you can see what it is I'm doing and what it looks like when I'm done. So I'm getting closer to the end. I'm at my last three double crochets, remember, from the previous row. So you're going to skip one and make your two double crochets, one double crochet into each of those last two stitches from the previous row. And that's pretty much it. That is how you make your chevron pattern. As you can see, your valleys and your peaks going up and down all, all the way across. So again, you can use this as a blanket. You can use it for a blanket. Of course, naturally you would make more than 55 stitches or 55 chains when you're making a blanket but it also depends on how big you want it to be so just keep repeating that pattern for as many rows as you want to and that's going to be it for our tutorial so i want to thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on facebook instagram and tiktok at cam time crochet thanks for watching Bye-bye.